Our series on the cold case cards continues after a violent week in Central Falls 11 years ago. Edelmiro Roman was walking home after dropping off his girlfriend. But he never made it back. The details are covered in a deck of cold case playing cards. Each card highlights a different cold case in the state of Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen speaks tonight with the detective on the case and the victim's sister who is still searching for answers. It's new at 530. Our cold case investigation today takes us back to our archives. 2008, it was a tense time in the city of Central Falls. There had been two murders in a matter of two days. The entire city was just covered in crime scene tape. There had been a curfew instituted as crime scene investigators tried to figure out what happened. And that's where our cold case takes us today. Edelmiro Roman, the Four of Hearts. A little kid with a big heart. Just a teenager. He was only 16. Edelmiro Roman, or Musu, was gunned down in Central Falls. The initial call of this was almost unbelievable to the detectives. Unbelievable because the day before, April 27, 2008, another teen was killed. It was a gang shooting with an immediate arrest. 24 hours later, Roman was killed. Edelmiro wasn't in a gang though, right? No, he was not. No, nope. we believe he was just walking home, the wrong place, wrong time. Lieutenant Christopher Reed was on the case immediately. He was on his way back from his girlfriend's house, which was down Dexter Street, to where he lived, down that end of Dexter Street. He started to run. He made it to approximately right where we're standing right here, where he fell, shot multiple times in the back. Where was the shooter? Unknown unknown. We had no witnesses uh, at the time. 11 years later, there's been no arrests. They left me without a brother and, you know, my daughter without an uncle and my other brother without a brother, you know, and we all grew up together, you know. Does the pain ever go away? Nah, never. Roman's big sister, Sandy, still doesn't want to show her face. Is that scary being on these streets yes, right now, knowing that's that? that's the reason why I keep my life very private. They're not going to get away with it. How much would it mean to you to solve this case? Like every case, we want to solve it for the family. She hasn't forgotten her brother, and we won't forget her brother. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts every day. He didn't grow up. It was 16. Do you know who killed Edelmiro Roman? Call 1-877-RI-SOLVE, or you can go to our website, WPRI.com, to learn more about this investigation and all of the other cold cases we've covered so far in this series. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.